Today's project is going to be mounting a mountain bike onto the back of my truck toolbox. I have this little mounting bracket right here that we're going to screw into the top of the box. I'm going to show you how to make it secure and also how this guy works. This way I can have my mountain bike sitting in the back of my truck and not worry about laying it over. It's just going to be more secure for long rides as well. So what you're going to need for this project is the mount itself. I got this guy off of Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and link that down in the video description. It's right below this video. So if you want to buy one of these, go ahead and check that link first. Then I have some M6 bolts, some M6 nuts, and then some locking washers that are going to help, you know, keep it tight. The nuts to the bolts. And then I also have a sheet of metal that I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to cut again lengthwise, and this is going to be bolted on underneath with the mount so that if there's ever any rocking motion with the bike, it's not just going to have the thin top metal of the truck box, it's also going to have this metal to help support it if it ever rocks left and right. We're going to get some clear sealer, and with this clear sealer you're going to put it in between the top of the mount and the truck box, that way water and stuff will never leak inside your truck box, and the truck box itself won't rust. First thing you want to do is line up your bike. We are going to want to mount it permanently. I like having my wheel in between the wheel well, which is this guy right here on my truck, as well as the tailgate. So I can have the tailgate all the way closed and have, you know, space to move the bike around a little bit. I also like having this little space right here for the extra wheel on the side so I can leave my truck open to have, you know, carry other things that I need. So that is the tentative place where I'm going to mount my bike. I don't have anything bolted in yet. So I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil and just kind of mark the outline where I want right here and where the bolts are going to go once I drill down through the top of my toolbox. I also chose farther up on the lid of the truck box because when the lid is going to be open there's still going to be room between the mount and the window. If I was to do it farther down I wouldn't be able to open my truck box and have it not touch the window at the same time. So closer to the lip of the toolbox is better. So when choosing a drill bit, you wanna make sure that the drill bit is gonna cover the entire bolt so that there's no threads popping up on either side. That way the threads won't catch when it goes inside of the hole. And that is it. Just going to clean up this edge around here and this stuff will dry clear. So there's not too big of a worry about that. And I'll scrape off the excess that we don't need and fill in the gaps of that I do need. The really nice thing about this bike mount is that not only does it fit my mountain bike, but it also fits my street bike. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like if this video helped you, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. To deter thieves a little bit, you can probably stick a cable through here, and then up and around through the main part of your frame, and that would keep people from stealing your bike a little bit, but at the same time, you know, they could still unbolt this bottom part and walk away with your bike. So this isn't like a long-term, you know, storage solution, but it is really nice to be able to transport your bike.